Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this problem? 3 raised to the power x equals to 7 raised to the power x plus 2. Thank you for watching and also give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. From here, let's write this again and this becomes 3 raised to the power x equals to 7 raised to the power x times 7 raised to the power 2. This is from the law of indices. That is, we have same base, then we can have the power. We reverse the law of indices. Then from here, let's separate the power of x to one side. That is, divide this side by 7 raised to the power x. And also divide this side by 7 raised to the power x. Such that 7 raised to the power x cancel each other here. And what we have left now, we now have a 3 raised to the power x over 7 raised to the power x. Which is equal to 7 raised to the power 2. And from here, we can... Write this again from the law of indices. When we have a raised to power m divided by b raised to power m, both are raised to power m, so this becomes a over b or raised to power m. Now, when we apply this law there, so this becomes 3 over 7 or raised to power x, which is equal to we can still leave this one as 7 squared. Then, by the time we look at this, we can take the log log on both sides so we have log 3 over 7 raised to power x then equals to log 7 raised to power 2 then we apply the power law of log reading where we have log m raised to power p this power we can send it to the back here and this is a p log m so that is power law when we apply this here the power of x can come to the back here and this will become x log 3 over 7 and here equals to also 2 come here we have 2 log 7 and then we are interested in finding the value of x so we can divide both sides by log 3 over 7 become this divided by log 3 over 7 and this divided by log 3 over 7. Log 3 over 7 cancel out here. And here we have x equals to 2 log 7 divided by. Here we can also separate this into 2 log from the law, law of log reading. That is, we can write it as log 3 minus log 7. And here we can get the you know, value of log 7, the end of log 3. When we substitute there, we get an approximate solution here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next class and bye for now.